All right, boys, time to bring down the gates. And at this point, wow. So, hang on here. You, at this point, you see a number of guys that were previously like hidden in bushes just come bolting out and running uh, into basically down the path. What, what bushes? They, they were off screen. Um, oh. Oh, it's on. Just sprinting down the path. Uh, right for uh, heading towards the uh, the gate. Oh, so. it is on. It is on like scon dogs. How far do they get? This that far? Yeah, so that's that's them running into frame essentially. Like that was okay. how far they got. Um, all right, and then oh, next is what is he carrying? What is he? Oh carrying? yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, you see six guards surrounding this like crazed looking guy. Like he's got a mask. He's got like just like what looks like self inflicted wounds all over him, and yeah. he's got a he's got a backpack on with two blaze canisters. Oh. I'm about oh. to break all of uh, the buff ranges. Um, <laughs> sorry, in advance. <laughs> just wait. I'm coming with you. Just wait for me. I can't wait. <laughs> They're coming. All right. <laughs> All right. So now throw the bead. That's what I'm gonna up do. To the the Nora dudes back here. Now seeing this flurry of new warriors sprinting down the path, they kind of panic for a second. And um, what they do is they they move. Come on. Am I on the right layer? All right. They move Legolas, out in front down. of the, the sandbags here, and then they start just making uh, crossbow shots at these guys. Uh, try and intercept them before they can get anywhere close to the bridge. Like, these guys are basically in like an all-out sprint at this point, like trying to get as close to the gate as they can. So they move. All the way over here. Oh shit! All right, I might not have to move out of range. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I figure this. Basically, they run this far, and then you see the the dude with the the backpack on uh, pull out like a torch, light yeah. it, and then you you see like little fuses on the top of the blaze canisters, and he lights them both. Okay, here we go. All right, I can't wait. Man, now I'm thinking about what the fuck is going to happen if I manage to bead that guy and then he blows up inside the bead. Is he on a fuse? Like, hold that, on, that hold on, so hold funny. on. I got pee. I got pee. Yeah, I'm going to pee too. <laughs> I was waiting until my turn to try and mention that. I wasn't sure if he was going to get there on his own. I'm like, oh my God, the bead. Yeah. The bead. <laughs> going to be so effective. If they have a fucking explosive runner. Yeah. I've seen Helm's Deep. Yeah. I know what that guy's gonna do. Gonna leap headfirst into the gate. Fucking menace. Uh, yeah, so she basically runs up and just slices into the guard in the back. Um, but the guy's still standing. He, they've, they've planned this out and they've guarded their little extremist here uh, with some uh, higher tiered guards so he's been through some shit and he manages to uh, kind of shrug off her attack and I see going. all right Koros all right you bastards a sneak attack with a battle cry I'm going to rip a bead of force off of my great sword and hurl it Right here, so that it hits these five guys in the front.
So you're trying to do like this, basically? Uh, it should be. Yeah, 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 those five guys. Okay. So I'm just going to like stand up, get really excited when I see them coming finally, and I'm, this is the pivotal moment. I'm just going to chuck it down and make it happen. So all five need to make a deck save. Yeah. It's a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna just okay. drop yeah. this in here, actually. Holy, so, well, one attacks. Of them failed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going like shit. Oh. oh. Uh, this guy was set to roll to the GM, but uh, uh, this guy rolled 20, so he passed. Okay. And this guy... 13, not sure why that was unmanaged. So he fails. And the extremist... Rolls a 13 oh, as yeah. well. Oh, yeah! You're done! <laughs> okay, so... I gotta roll uh, some damage. That's 5d4 force damage. Yeah. Boah, that didn't work. <laughs> Boah, that is so shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was not uh, one. That, the, yikes. One, 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 two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he's stuck. He's got a big old donger on him and he's stuck. Yeah, apparently. Whoever drew the donger, I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so let's say this guy gets pushed out. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see what <laughs> we got. Um, wow, look at that shield. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> nice. So this is, um, they can see through it, too. They can see their trapped friends. Yep. Yeah. Stuck in stasis. So Beautiful. basically it looks like, uh, like the shield from, like, um, the Sentinels in StarCraft 2. Oh, I love like, it. Uh, okay, so... Uh, let's send it back, because... Good lord. I can't select them. Okay, so they did, they took eight damage. Yeah. On one of them. All right, so. And then they are Look. stuck. Yeah, they. That kind of fucks my plan up. So, yeah, they are stuck for 10 turns in this sphere, but you also <laughs> cannot damage them. Yeah. They're cool. basically. What you can do is, like, move the sphere around. Oh, I can um, move it? Oh. Yeah, so. Oh, I could push it into the river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Only breathable, the only breathable air can pass through the wall. So, like, you can put them in the river, but then they'll just be, like, hanging out on the river. Yeah, and, until it pops, and then they'll all fall in the water. Yeah. Okay, so so the ones inside can push it. Yeah. Up to half the... Oh, because that mean I can push it, too, it, but I'm outside? Oh, it doesn't say that. Well, the sphere can be picked up. So you oh, really? Can pick it up and move it. Yeah. This, yeah so oh, the sphere, the sphere can, be, can picked be picked up, up, and the magic causes it to weigh only one pound, regardless of what's inside. Oh my so. god! I was gonna like run at. Oh, uh, you know, I don't have an action to do that anyways, right? To like uh, huck it. Turn. Yeah. So they they can they can move the circle a little bit, mm -hmm. and we'll have to deal with that later. But they they're not yeah. getting that for a minute anyways, so. I'm really curious what the fuse on Mr. Suicide Man is, but I digress. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that situation is dealt with, and I'm leaping at this commander. All right. Leap See, your I little have... heart out. I believe oh, in you. I'm going to leap. I'm just going to like run and jump this five-foot gap completely unnecessarily. Clear has, your foot even, has your foot even healed? <laughs> It was a brief, 
moment of weakness, and I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to to trigger rage, and I'm going to let's see what happens. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, and as soon as I like land on the ground, my foot impacts and just flowery vines just erupt around me in fifteen feet radius, um, grabbing at. I guess if it's only enemies, yeah, it's just this this motherfuck, and I just like like raise my head up and I'm like, you're not going anywhere, car just scum, and I brandish my blade and end my turn. Right. Stab him his eyes. <laughs> So, yeah, the uh, beat of force has uh, definitely uh, got them uh, in a bit of a, a shit. So, uh, and you see the guards kind of looking a little bit more panicked inside because they <laughs> saw the fuse get lit and they're just kind of like stuck inside. They have no idea how long they have until this fuse blows. So they're just like hoping that... Uh, <sighs> You guys can. <laughs> hey, man! Right they were all ready to sacrifice this fool, but they're not ready to sacrifice them themselves. Yeah, right. Rude. This is like right, Loki dropping a grenade in a tank and locking the hatch. Yeah. And inside the bubble, they're like, oh, "I was, I was willing to sacrifice myself, but not for no reason." In this bubble, like an idiot. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here they're like, it's for the greater good to the guy, and then and then they get trapped. They're like, no, god damn it! <laughs> Believe right. an expression about playing with matches. Okay, and then it's Skirt's turn. He was going to make an attack on the Nora dudes. As he looks back at his guard buddies, he's like, ooh, glad I got into that. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by enemies with swords pointed at him, like, is it much better? <laughs> yeah, this is better than that. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shout like, our hour of glory is at hand. We will save this city, and then just hurl my blade at this captain with a not throw, but yeah, I'm doing a melee attack. Okay. <sighs> do do. Yeah. I'm gonna smoke him. Whoa, okay. Smoke, smoke him. Smoke, clapped his cheeks. Yeah, almost got the crit on him. Dude, dude, power shot it. him. Oh, I thought about it. <laughs> don't you have another swing? Uh, no, no, I no, do don't. not. I just have the 14 <laughs> damage from this swing as I just like no, crunch it into his sword shoulder. Yeah, so yeah, he's uh, starting to look pretty rough you see like the sweat like pouring down his forehead as he's starting to uh really feel the damage sink in uh, hell yeah uh, yeah all right so these three guys take out the guard the guard outside of the uh beat of force falls and he's on his way down he's like oh i should have been in the, the force field and then he just kind of hits the ground <laughs> 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 You missed out. Okay. And I'll let you guys handle him. I will shoot this guy on the other side of Sazellum from the commander. Alright. And I will charge another guiding bolt as I draw energy from the universe into the palms of my hand, creating a spirit bomb-like weapon that I actually and, open uh... both my eyes this time. I don't close them. I'm not scared. Geldath be praised. Here it comes. <clears throat> 13? No. Nope. Oh, hold up. No, plus, plus your D4s. Plus, uh, plus. Uh, 16? 16! Gildath be praised. It is. Yay! Gildath! Gildath! Oh, thank you. Power of the universe. Thank Gildath. Right in the back of that person. I'm going to blast 11 radiant damage. And she explodes in blue fire. Yeah, basically, uh, the guard is no more. And oh, okay. Yeah, then I want to leave like, a steaming hole in the back of her torso there. As it just kind of like erupts and she like explodes apart from that impact. Yeah. Just a All blinding right. flash and just the top half of her is gone. I think she's doing a power strike. I think so. For 16? Uh... 
Uh, didn't catch who you were attacking with the power strike. Captain. Okay. Um. Yeah. So a sixteen does it. Oh wow. Nice. His armor class. Okay. I might as well do it too. And uh, make that twelve damage. Yeah. So with that hit, you just see him kind of like buckle down to his knees and uh, fall to the ground. Oh, you will not win you. this one, Karja. Okie dokie. So, the yeah, Bubble Boys? <clears throat> yeah, the Bubble Boys are still doing their thing. Um, <laughs> so what they're going to do is they're going to try and push towards the um, push towards the old, uh, uh, the bridge. <laughs> um, so, and then these two guards are going to try and push them back, so I'm going to just mm -hmm. do like quick competing strength checks here. Uh, Love it. And the bubble so weight. So the weight of the, ball of the bubble is a pound, so it shouldn't even be a contest. <laughs> yeah. Pick it up, guys! Because despite Throw it in the, the contents of the shield, it should not move. It's a pound. The physics are fun. But it, depending on and how it's seen, if they're pushing from the inside, it would be easy to move, but every force is but equal enough to despite, But despite what the what the object is in the in the ball, the ball weighs a pound. Yeah, no, that's true. So despite, despite the ball their roll? force... Well, the ball can be pushed from the inside, but um, at like half movement. But Lydia's right, like it does only weigh a pound, so from the outside, there wouldn't be a whole lot of force, regardless of how much they were pushing on the inside. So there is no strength competing checks. There's no contest. They uh, they, they, they don't try. Move. They try and they just work up a sweat. Fighting and they a beach start, ball. They start yeah. panicking, panicking even more because the fuse is getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> They're hopeless. <laughs> you right, sealed so... your fate when you lit that bomb. I have no remorse. Yeah. And then uh, suddenly you, all you guys all at once just hear like a Everybody Everybody in the The bubble In the beat of force? Yeah <laughs> Including the fanatic? Yes Especially Excellent. the fanatic Excellent. <laughs> Good job, guys. Yeah. Yes. Just, just, shield my eyes. So bright. Just, oh, the shield, the the beat of force is just like splattered with red and just filled with smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute, sorry. Uh, I might not be dead yet. Just give me a second. They all have to make deck saves. Dead. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, oh, he is... lives. Half damage. <laughs> he don't mind. He's, he's still dead. 14. Oh, he's okay. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, dead. dead. And the extremist? Oh, the, the extremist. Oh my God. Like, yeah, this is like the on extremist... top of the eight from before, too. The extremist is the... still alive. What? Threw his backpack off. The yeah, last back. He just got like burn marks like all over him. Um, oh, just no, grab one of these hapless alive. mishaps and shielded himself. That poor guy. So he's is he on fire? No, he's not on fire. He just has like just a shitload of damage done to his back, like just burn marks all over him. <laughs> and, uh, he might be blind and deaf. Yeah, <laughs> just like covering <laughs> yes, his ears. Yes, like, yeah, yeah. I just nice ringing. That's so funny. He still can't get Captain out. Alex is missing this. Yeah, and he still can't get out. He's just like with a bunch of toasted guys. <laughs> oh no. All of his friends that put so much trust in him and faith and purpose. He still has to try his best. This this turn order is yeah, gonna get he did. very small, quick. Good. <laughs> is that the one you want to interrogate? No. You should ask him about his we experiences. Have to <laughs> Mr. Fanata, <laughs> how was your day? Are you proud of what you've accomplished? 
Well, I woke up this morning with martyrdom on the mind. And now, I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't even do that, right? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to say combat is over at this point. Yeah. And I'd like to do, uh, I pull the rope out of my bag and properly secure the captain, like, tie him up, and I'll also tie his hands to his feet so that he can't actually get up and gonna, like, uh, him. search him. Yeah, I'm going to hog tie and search time. him. Basically, what he's got, um, he just has, like, a regular long sword uh, and two hand axes. Um, he has about 17 gold on his person, and... Uh, a very threatening letter from this gold stream, basically saying, to paraphrase, saying, uh, give us, bring back a decent sized convoy for the Sun King, or or else. Um, but beyond that, he doesn't really have much. He was basically just sent out to lead these troops in uh, getting some hostages to uh, sacrifice to the Sun King. Sister, try his helmet on. I want to see if you can do the creepy voice. We have like 10 seconds for the <laughs> I'm going to laugh. And then oh, I will take off the helmet and I will put it on. Koros, I will get you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voice. Oh, That's God. what he sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> and we like throw, pull off the helmet and like chuck it back at <laughs> chuck it back at the captain there and laughing. <laughs> and as you guys are laughing, you hear a pop, and then the uh, um, the fanatic is like, <gasps> and he starts like running down the street. <laughs> oh no, you don't, Marquise, get him! Is going to. Um, I'm gonna. Actually, cast hold person on him oh shit okay so he has to make a wisdom save <laughs> yeah, anybody's gonna uh, fail a wisdom right save <laughs> oh i'd be surprised if he passes a wisdom save <laughs> oh shit oh, he rolled off save. Save. is it Eight, a save two. it's a 14 oh, oh. does he pass Heck. he uh, he rolled a 14 Oh, he no. rolled 14, he rolled 14 with a negative 2. Oh, oh, my God. I'm going after him. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> I got to grapple him. I just got to, like, right. leap and just, like, grab him by, like, the back of the... Does he have hair? So, combat ended, so your rage will be gone. Oh, don't make so me do it... it again. That's okay. I don't need rage. Um, The blesses are... Mm, I don't know how long it lasts. No, um, but, um, um, uh, emboldened. I broke Bless trying to hold person in. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, well, I'll just roll the regular one, and if he wants to try to beat my just like recliner athletics check, bring it on. No. <laughs> so Ooh, I grab him by I... like the the back of the the, the 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 back of the head hair and just like yank him. It's like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Start to march him back towards town by, like, the head pointing in front of me. <laughs> or dragging him, depending on if he, uh, <laughs> if he bites it or not. <laughs> <laughs> you roll for a bite attack? Um, um. <laughs> oh, don't you start this. 